My name is The Professor, joined with my co-host. Hello, I'm Izumi. Today we'll be showing off the Nightmare Before Christmas Ui's Revenge Let's Dance Boss Rush. In this Let's Dance Boss Rush, we go through all six Let's Dance bosses. Shadow Oogie, the Spider, Dr. Finkelstein, the Frats, Roulette Oogie, and Mega Oogie. And that correlates to chapter 1, 5, 8, uh, 15, 17, and 24. This is a quick sprint through all of them. We have to beat the whole chapter, but all but one is just the boss. Yeah, all of these bosses, actually, the completion of the chapter is tied to the boss dying, so... Yeah. Um, for also donation incentive, I have learned chapter one blindfolded. Don't believe me? Watch and learn. This one's good. I'm going to be doing a quick three, two, one, and then my co-host Azumi will get us started. Blindfolds down. Three, two, one, go. All right. So this is the Let's Dance category. This is actually the shortest category that we have on the leaderboards. Um, we're doing this on easy mode just as... <laughs> require you to do the let's dance which are kind of like ddr style mini games um where you kind of have to use directionals and pressing the uh, face buttons of the controllers in beat songs and the let's dance sections are some of the most fun bits and some of the real Honestly, best parts of the songs. So it's a, it's a little shame that we won't get into every Let's Dance section and you know, DDR minigame. But the boss rushes in and of themselves are fun. And, you know, short category, so hopefully it'll be fun here. Looks like Professor's about to head in. He's going in as the first boss right here is Shadow Oogie, the boss of level one, chapter one. A quick cutscene coming in. And basically for this one, I'm going to do is walk forward and forward. Come on! Well, 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 Jack! Ha ha! Finally made it, Paul! Oh, I've been waiting! Oh, yeah, yeah. So how do you like my movie town? All the time! The save file has uh, all the S ranks for every chapter and everything unlocked. So you have infinite fire swords, which is pretty broken in this game. And that's most of the reason why this run. Clear is time! Combo! Now, Damage! Exclamation marks count! Nightmare chapter. rank! Excellent! Good start here. Yep. Welcome back to us, Professor. You're welcome. 
Uh, since the timer already start, even if I messed up here, I can reset game and go back in the game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was blindfolded. That honestly took me an hour to learn. The uh, good thing about this game, similar to Ocarina of Time, each Game step room. is a guaranteed unit of measure. Welcome back. Even with a slide, I can always calculate what steps plus slide equal. And there are backup strats for him to uh, basically get into it. And you, you've seen it right there with him finding the residential gate on the left there. Okay. And then I do 11 the steps, end. slide, then three more steps to the right, then just hold up. Yeah, the slide is a, a little... It's, I think it's based on the amount of time or amount of steps you spend in a direction. You kind of get a few. He has a Luigi's shoes. Yeah. Uh, but what I've learned is if you turn and stop, um, if you turn slightly and stop, he doesn't do it. And also, as the camera changes, like, if I'm holding down and the camera changes, he's locked in that direction until I move the, uh, stick at least, I don't know, like, 20 degrees? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of analog-based, uh, movement games are like that, where you have, like, camera changes. You see this a lot in, like, the new style of Resident Evil games, where they have, uh, pumpkin shield! This is the first mini boss. But that was pretty textbook right there. All you want to do is uh get a charge soul spin on him. That was about as good as that could go. Yeah. For those who know the game, you might ask, well, why didn't you do a blue soul? For one it stuns Locke so he trips, leaving him in place because he loves to jump around and just shoot you with his plunger and all that. What he means by that is the taunt actually keeps him in place. And uh, actually charges it. And also, a taunt is the same damage as a blue soul. Even if you charge it up, the blue soul doesn't add damage. That was really good. You want to see that spider jump after you. Oh, uh, worst case is he just keeps spinning around with you. don't want to have the spider go back down. That's a couple seconds of time loss. Um, what I'm doing here is behind him is can can dancers and they determine how much how much damage you do the problem is it's a range between first one is 1 through 99 second one's 100 through 199 that um, you can beat him with the first can can dancer but it's a roll of the dice yeah it's a, it basically depends on if you get a high amount or low amount but, you know it's just good to be safe because otherwise you have to go through a whole nother cycle of hitting him on the horn and going through the spike and hitting. Yeah. Now we're on to the third fight here, chapter eight. Uh, uh brain uh, surgery. Yeah, exactly. Neurosurgeon Jack Skellington. <laughs> the third. Oh, 
No. Um, this could- this is just speculation, but at the beginning of the Japanese... Yeah. The brain flops around at a weird random interval. I could have opened up his head, but the shock- the, it goes on the music and I know I didn't have enough time. I know where I messed up on that. I grabbed the brain a second time after I threw it in. I was... I rock my hand between Y and X whenever I do that. Yeah. And that was my downfall. That was still a good fight. It was just, like, not perfect. You don't have to go for perfect in Marathon. That was still sub-2. And the best fight we've seen, I think, is a, a one flash. Yeah. Um, on also a pretty fast fight. Yeah, I've seen. I've I've seen it to where my one flat, I can get a fifty nine. I just have to be ultra perfect. Yeah. This the, the weird part about the timer is you have to you have to match the over here. The it's and all the cutscenes all count towards the time that you just finished. Yeah. And sometimes you can just get a bad load. Just because it was ending a note at a weird time. So how I do this is I wait for them to jump on their feet. Doesn't matter, I still got them all. Um, I want to get them into a certain way where the bla a bla the blast is a sphere that opens up. So, it can hit them at slightly weird intervals. Yeah, and as long as you hit all three of them twice, and you hit two of them twice, I think you still kill them. Like there, I got a weird bad load because I probably was a frame or two off. Yeah. Not too bad, though. You know, yeah. One or two frames and a, a whole 15 minute run. Bad. But that's why we moved to HDD to lower those as much as possible. Since load. Two. Yeah. But that's something we have long term for the game. Any percent doesn't really use IGT, but um, it doesn't really use IGT just because of the weird like ending load. But IL use IGT. That's why I need three bombs. A perfect fight would have killed him in one... Um, it would kill him in 0.8 cycles. That minor, minor sliver of health right there was basically 1 HP. I like to call that second chance. One, 139, not bad at all. Yeah, exactly. That was still faster than your Fingal. Yeah. That my fastest is a 133. That might be almost like solved level, because there's only so much uh, opportunity you have to damage uh, casinos. Yep. And here we are, we're already at the end. Yeah, this is uh, the finale of Let's Dance. Yep. Like I said in the beginning, this is the shortest category we have on the boards. Yep. 
Started at around 18 minutes. We've grinded it down to a 15.03. Yeah, it's just over 15 minutes. We are three seconds from each other on the leaderboard. Not for long. Uh, sub 15 is possible. But it's insane luck. Yeah. That could be 4th of July. With Mega Oogie, you want to get at least 9 on the 1st, just to get, well, at least 8. But I try to go for 9 or 10 to get him below half health. cycle anyway it only takes uh, 15 hits but uh what we've learned what i've learned at least if you hold up and mash it that sliver of time between each step slows you down so you lose one firebomb per cycle hmm. that's just what i've noticed it's payback time is that all you got to say Once I learned this, I could learn the entirety of Let's Dance for it. Oh, come on. Uh, Hellfire was... That was a good rap battle. Especially when you have a... What was it? That was a Latin opera backing up. Yeah. But with this... There's a certain, I forget the name of the jazz note, but it uses that special note in this song, the same one they use throughout the Nightmare Before Christmas movie, since it's a musical. Like I tried to say earlier, um, before I forgot, um, I can't tell for certain, because I can find very little evidence on this game. But in the beginning of the Japanese opening of the game, it says, with association with Danny Elfman. I don't know if that means Danny Elfman helped with the music, or that they just used a song. director yeah a creative consultant one thirteen exclamation mark that's my PB original PB was one twelve during it you only have to get 80 exclamation points yeah but uh, an another part of this uh if you're doing like hundo you can even go back to halloween town and get the combo and exclamations elsewhere and that cool. is let's dance boss rush i thought i was too late 
But I managed to deliver the presents in time. I'm so... Forgive me for causing you trouble again. What I like no, about the Jack, uh, this ending, this time it I correlates with the ending gratitude. of the soundtrack. Thank because Sandy has a line where he says that if you could turn back the clock to that night, Christmas was almost ruined. It could either refer to the movie or this. They left this ending ambiguous enough to coincide with the soundtrack. And I love that. Jack. You know, it's strange. Whenever I set out to find something new, my eyes are open to a larger world. You're not yeah. leaving again, are you? No. Something tells me the most wonderful discoveries are a little closer to home. Yeah, probably Labor Day. It would probably be in between the 4th of July and Halloween. Labor Day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or they could have a situation like in the Santa Claus 2 and the Santa Claus 3 where they just have meetings throughout the year. Yeah, maybe quarterlies. I yeah. can see that. The Molinator. Alright then. We thank you, and we hope you consider Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge, Let's Dance Boss Rush for Summer Games Done Quick 2023. I thank you. Any closing remarks, Azumi? This is a you know a good quick one if uh if we wanted to just kind of start in as a you know little quiet quick showcase this is probably the perfect uh category to showcase just you know how the game operates and you know just do something real fast yeah well then I'll see you at summer games done quick thank you. <laughs>